Hi folks, Tim Conti here with Cloud Trusted Advisor. The uh, purpose of today's video is, um, don't you love when you get on video and then you see how your hair looks and then you wanna fix it? Um, in today's video, um, we're gonna run through something new and it's how to integrate Microsoft Teams with Zoom. Now, disclaimer and disclosure before you watch the video, I am going to be talking predominantly around how to integrate Microsoft Teams video chat um, with Zoom phone, okay? Because integrating Zoom video with Teams video, there's really no reason to do that. Um, there's no benefits. But what we're seeing in the market is a very specific use case, which is why Zoom rolled out this product. The specific use case is customers that are on Microsoft that use Teams. They want to stay with Teams for collaboration. They're not comfortable with Microsoft's voice solution, so they're using Zoom phone. And the challenge in this model is Microsoft and Zoom are direct competitors, so they don't always play nice. But this latest round of integration that Zoom is calling DAS, um, it, it, which is kind of confusing things because there's other technologies uh, that are called DAS, but this is direct routing um, as a service, so really D DRAS. Um, that's what Zoom is calling it. So not uh, disaster recovery as a service, but uh, DAS, um, which is uh, Zoom's terminology for direct routing as a service. So that's essentially what Zoom has become. They become a Microsoft direct routing partner. Try not to get too technical on this call, but it, it is technical. So let's talk about why, again, someone wouldn't want to do it. For Microsoft Teams customers, where the IT director, VP of technology or CIO is managing an environment, the goal usually is to get down to one platform for collaboration, both internally and externally. Um, they're a Microsoft shop, so they see value in Teams. They don't want to pull Teams out and go with Zoom for that piece, so they keep Teams in. Um, but then they go to Zoom for Zoom phone. And when you look at integrating these two things, you'll see a lot of partner or providers like Zoom competitors that talk about integration with Microsoft Teams. This one's a really deep integration because it's direct routing. Um, to, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like here in a minute. So Zoom becomes your phone provider. Um, all of the setup um, in the accounts is predominantly done in Teams, and there's a little bit of work you have to do in Zoom as well, but it's a really cost-effective way to take advantage of, of Zoom phone. That's the other reason clients are considering this. Zoom phone is cheaper. Microsoft says voice is free. <laughs> it's not free. It's included. And even when it's included, there are so many asterisks next to their pricing plans, it's hard to keep track. And I've talked to a lot of CIOs that after going to Microsoft Teams Voice, they didn't really fully uh, were aware of the, all the costs that are associated with Teams Voice. Microsoft tells you it's free and just activate it. That's not the case. So that's the high level overview. This is what it looks like. You know, you've got your Microsoft client up here and you got the PSTN, which is your voice network and you have Zoom phone and Microsoft. Um, this is what the, let me move my picture over there. This is what the architecture looks like in terms of um, how it's set up. So on the right hand side, you see Microsoft's um, Zoom carrier tenant, and then you got the Zoom data centers on the left, and then these are referred to as SIP trunks, just connections in between the data, set, data centers. There's a primary, secondary, and tertiary on the Microsoft side, and a primary, secondary, and tertiary on the Zoom side. Um, and then there's a SIP trunk between the customer's Office 365 account for Microsoft and the customer's Zoom phone account. Because again, you're gonna to have to do a little bit of work in both admin portals, but it is really set it and forget it. Once the system's set up, and by the way, my team will help you set this up in a professional services engagement. So if you're looking to um, keep teams and sign on with Zoom phone and have them all work together, uh, that's definitely something we can help you with. So this is what it looks like. This is a presentation that was just given for one of my other customers. It's a Berkshire Hathaway company. Um, I won't disclose the name, but um, we've helped three Berkshire Hathaway separate um, entities, companies um, with the Zoom phone solution. Um, and then in this latest round, um, the client was um, looking to go stay with Teams, but go Zoom phone. And that's where they uh, hired us to help them with that engagement, with that whole process. And that's what we're doing. So this is a slide from a presentation that the Zoom engineer gave on how to do the integration. 
And then lastly, you'll see here um, your Zoom admin portals on the right. You'll have access to this as the IT professional. And then you've got your Teams um, set up on the left-hand side. Uh, there's a little work in Azure as well that you do, but it looks probably like it's a lot. It's actually not too bad after having gone through it. And I think the integrations will get tighter and tighter um, as time goes on. So again, if you are a uh, CIO, VP of technology, IT director, IT manager, uh, business owner looking to um, go with teams for collaboration, for messaging and chat, um, and then you probably have using Microsoft already for email. And then you're looking to replace your phone system with a new solution and you're not comfortable with Teams voice, uh, buying voice directly from Microsoft. Um, and you're looking at a potential solution. I can tell you that Zoom phone is a great fit, um, super reliable, very easy to use and extremely cost effective. So this again is a way to integrate your Teams environment with Zoom. I hope you um, enjoyed today's video. Drop a comment in. If you have any follow-up questions, my team will respond back uh, usually within 24 to 48 hours, if not sooner. That's all I have. Have a great day. Thank you.